present good morning to you and nine tips. First Samuel chapter 26 and verse 11 says, The Lord forbid that I should stretch forth my hand against the Lord's anointed, but I pray thee, take now the spear that is at his bolster, and a cruise and the cruise of water, and let us go. Both of them were anointed. That's not part of the text. Eh? But I'm pointing out that both David and King Saul were anointed at the time David is saying this. And I am also saying that I did not read where God said that King Saul, you are no more anointed. I read where God said, because of your disobedience, you cannot rule my people anymore. The same Samuel who anointed King Saul, the older man, big, tall, strapping, the same Samuel was sent to anoint David after Saul disobeyed God twice. Where am I going with this? Listen to where I'm going. Uh, the older anointed one, that is King Saul, wanted to get rid of the younger anointed one. He used all the resources he could get just to try to get rid of the younger anointed one. The younger anointed one, David, was a threat to King Saul because King Saul perceived it that way. Uh, could you imagine how different the history of Israel would have been if King Saul had demitted the throne, stepped down from the throne, and cooperated with David to make David, the younger anointed one, a success story. Uh, now, you think I'm talking about King Saul and David alone. Uh, listen, to be anointed uh, in this context meant that God handpicked these individuals for a specific task of leading his people. Listen, in this modern day and age, within the church, many times God handpicked individuals also, but one, sometimes it just happens that the spirit of animosity pops up and it's there sometimes in us, like in King Saul, where we are saying, hey, only one man crab could live in this hole. But it should not be like that. The older or the younger anointed, uh, two of you can coexist peacefully. Uh, what we need to do is to remember that it is God who anointed both of you. So it's better you cooperate. The better thing to do is for the older anointed to teach, to coach, to advise, to counsel, and to pass on valuable information uh, so that the younger anointed ones uh, can succeed easier. God's anointed, are you? Maybe you are. Maybe you're a leader in the church. Uh, God's anointed, please cooperate and hold up each other's hand in the spirit of friendship, meekness, peace, and humility. And while you are at it, pray for each other. David could not stretch forth his hand to destroy God's anointed, even though he had the opportunity. Similarly, whoever you are, anointed one, please try your best to assist and help in the longevity of other anointed ones. God and Father, help us today to understand that you are on the throne. You are the one who can anoint individuals and set them apart for a specific task. Help us to serve you in spirit and in truth and to be peaceful about it. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen. May God be true bless you as you go through the day. Thank you.